Hi guys! So I've been wanting to do this video for a pretty long time now and uh, I'm a little sick still so pardon my voice but I kind of just decided to sit down and record it today. I watched a movie about a tsunami a couple of days ago and kind of just kick-started this video and you'll know why in a second. So I told you guys, if you've not watched my recovery videos, please go watch those. I've told you guys before that there was one defining moment that I knew God was speaking to me, telling me that I should go get help, go into recovery for my eating disorder. And that's now what I wanna share with you guys. Before I put this on the internet, uh, there was only, I think, about five people that I've ever told this story. But I feel like there's not a reason that I shouldn't be telling you guys this. Um, if I can tell you how God has spoken to me and helped me and put me through the hardest time in my life, then I'm sure this story can help someone else. And I really hope you guys find um, this defining moment in your life, too, if you're struggling. So... Um, I've been struggling with an eating disorder since I was 16, and the biggest, most hardest part of it all struck last, around last August or so. Um, kind of through the summer, I was trying to go through uh, another prep that would have been my four, my fourth or fifth, pre fourth prep, and um, I was really having a hard time. Uh, I was dealing with binge eating disorder. And it was just, it was just very hard for me, put it that way. And my anxiety was spiking. Everything was kind of just swirling downwards. Well, in the middle of all of this, I had this reoccurring nightmare. And it was so vivid. And I can't, I really can't describe it. It's really hard to describe and it will never be like how it is in my dream, but I would be on a beach somewhere, doesn't really matter where, anywhere, and it didn't even have to be directly on the beach, it was just a place where the ocean was present, and a tsunami would come, and I would run and run and run and run, and all I could do was keep running and keep climbing, and um, water would start like f like combing over me, and I would feel like I was going to drown, but I never would. Um, I would wake up, I'd be covered in sweat. I would almost be crying, I'd be heaving. It's just terrifying. It was the scariest thing and it happened so often. A few times a week, at least once a week, but I would get it and sometimes other people I knew would be in the dream. Sometimes it would be just me. I would meet new people in the dream, but it would always just be devastating. It'd be the saddest thing. And I was terrified. And the wave, I couldn't, it was the biggest, tallest wave I've ever seen in my life. And this was all happening when I was going through this really hard time and um, not wanting to get help quite yet, not really knowing what to do. And so I was at church. This would have been back in August. And I was sitting in service. Um, I'm trying to reconnect with God at this point, which is something that I thought I needed to do. And I was sitting there, and we always have different songs that come on. I was at the end of one of my services. The last song started to play. And I'm looking at our big screens, and a tsunami comes on the screen. And the giant wave starts crashing down. And I'm just listening because at this point, I, I, it just made me very uncomfortable. And I was watching and the lyrics just, I, they couldn't have been any more directed towards me. God was literally yelling in my face. And if I didn't recognize that at that moment, I would still be stuck 
uh, swirling down into like disaster right now. I listened to what God had to say. And I'm going to read you a little bit of the lyrics. Um, not much, but just it's singing You Make Me Brave. That's the name of the song is You Make Me Brave. And the one line that hit me and like hit me hard, I started bawling in church, bawling because I heard God at this moment when the line came and it said, you call me out beyond the shore into the waves. It was God saying, stop trying to do this by yourself. Why are you sitting there? You're not strong enough alone. You're not, you, you need me is what he was saying. He's saying, take that tsunami, that trouble that you're dealing with, go full force into it with me by your side. And I was crying so hard. And what made me cry so hard is because my mom knew, my mom knew that, that like I was feeling this way and she heard the song and I knew what I was feeling inside, but in the middle of the song, she grabbed me and she said, go out into that tsunami. And like, could there be any clearer of a voice? Could there be? And there really couldn't. So then something kind of miraculous happened. I entered therapy, which that you guys know is one of the best decisions I've ever made in my entire life. I am so incredibly happy. But after that day in church, I haven't had my tsunami nightmare ever. It's never came back. That day was the day I started researching th uh, eating disorder therapists. That day was the day I decided I was going to change my life. And I haven't had the dream since. God came at the right time. And he always does. And he always will. You may be struggling. You may be wondering when is this going to end. If you need a sign, if that's really what you need, I'm sure God's going to give it to you. But if he doesn't, make this your sign. Listen to my message, not just as a sign of God talking to me, but as me speaking to you, God speaking through me to you. Please, if you need something, go to him. Go to church. Talk to him. Talk out loud to him. Pray. Read your devotion. Go get help for what you're struggling with because it is so worth it. I know that not everyone's dealing with an eating disorder. I understand that. But everyone's dealing with something. And I was just one of those lucky people who got to see the light of God shine onto me directly. And it was the coolest thing I have ever experienced in my entire life. And I will never forget it. And a tsunami will always be a symbol to me. That song will always be a symbol to me. And God will always be in me. And I just, I can't thank him enough for this. And I knew it was time to share with you guys because my faith is very strong. And my belief in recovery is very strong. And that's about it. There's nothing else I can really say. I'm... Um, I thank you so much for listening, and there's so many of you that support this journey, and I am so blessed. I'm blessed beyond belief. That's that's really it. So, if you guys want me to expand on anything, uh, please let me know, but I really hope you listen to this whole video. I think it could help so many people, just like he's helped me. Okay. You guys have a great one. Please like, subscribe, share.